Um, so I'm here to talk about carbon culture today. Uh, carbon culture, what I'm going to talk about today is mostly around behaviour, about getting people involved in energy and carbon saving. People have largely been left out of this, it's been mostly technological, and there's a kind of fascinating question, what would happen if we started getting more people involved in this, rather than just people who are paid to do energy and carbon saving. We start thinking about everybody else. Most of the companies we work with, about 3%, maybe fewer than that, are paid to deal with energy and carbon. Those people on the left here, everybody, so people in the energy and carbon team, you might have 30 of those in a, in a company of uh, a few thousand. Everybody else doesn't care about energy and carbon. Or if they do, they care about because they're, they're green or they've got kind of cultural reasons to care about. Just a bit of context um, in terms of how we're approaching this through organisations to reach people through their existing communities is a great way of getting to them. We're working with some organisations like this, mostly with government at the moment, 10 down the street deck and so forth. So the way that engagement is typically done at the moment is either from the perspective of the business, this is serious and it leads to savings, it's great, but it kind of annoys people. It's mandated action, it's serious stuff. All this is really fun, but often quite useless. And where it gets really interesting is where you make something fun and that delivers savings. A good way to get there is on the basis of evidence. Uh, what is fairly often done is people collect a load of evidence about where the technical savings are. What we've started to do in the project I'm about to talk about is we've looked at where the cultural opportunities, what people care about. This is the map of what people care about today. Different people, this is really, this is a, sorry about the font. Um, <laughs> <laughs> different people have got different drivers. Uh, so in the same way as kind of game types and so forth, different people are driven in different ways. So when you're looking at how to motivate different people, it's partly what they say they care about, but partly what they don't know they care about, they do. Here's an example of something that works for technical people, for geeks, energy managers, and so forth. They like graphs, they like continuous improvement, they like to come back to something and say it's slightly better than last week. Uh, we built a load of these kinds of tools, test them out in deck. Here's another one. This is for late night workers, people who work late, and it's kind of a bad experience after work at night, so we made a space where you get coffee and kind of fruit, nice things in the evening, and when you go there, you can save up to about, in some buildings, 5% of the electricity you might be building every year. This is for commuters, I'm so sorry about this font, it's very changing here. This is for commuters in a, in a rural environment. Um, again, it's a, car, it's a car sharing tool, which, if you add it onto that last 5%, you've got another saving point there. That, that's a scope three. Lots of businesses aren't reporting on it. This one's for scientists. Scientists care about a completely different set of things. They're mostly about how can I do good science and how can I do it quickly and how can I create knowledge more, more efficiently. If, we, if you create a tool that we have which can help scientists to book labs that are in the same state already been booked, they put fewer labs they save a lot of energy. Another thing, wow, this goes so fast. Another thing <laughs> that we found on the way through is if you listen to users and kind of let them do what they want to do around this stuff, they'll do amazing things. So here's an example in this project that we did where users came up with um, a, 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 a route to, to kind of make lunch together better. Uh, we use, a load, we use a load of prizes and incentives and we also met user needs. In this case, this is about healthy eating. We found there was a whole bunch of ways of helping people to save energy and carbon, but we also needed to do the measurement that was going to demonstrate that it actually works. So we built a whole load of technical infrastructure, similar to the technical, technical infrastructure we've been talking about today, to measure how that works, such that when you do these kind of interventions, you can actually see what the, you know, how useful behaviour is. Government at the moment assess that about 3% of the energy we can save in households across the UK can come from value. And you kind of intuitively know that's too low because, because it is. It's because the tools at the moment that, that we're using aren't, aren't powerful enough. <coughs> but that's in the place to bring them all together. This is another one which might even have to race over. So we've uh, built a, a load of different touch points to meet users at different parts of their day so that when someone kind of is passing through a lobby or is using their phone or whatever, there's Whatever kind of mood they're in, there's an interface that can move them and move that mood. We found there's five basic ways to do this that are really effective. You can make a utility that gives someone utility value, again, that is fun to use and actually helps them self actualize. You can give them some learning, or you can make a research tool that kind of brings back some quality of data from the kind of things they think are important. How much more energy could we save if we did it together? It seems like it's an enormous amount, and it's actually. <coughs> not really. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the, 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 oh. some emails, <laughs> you can write in. Um, so, we've, uh, we've, we've built a tool kit um, for making visualisations of energy and carbon data, uh, which are rolled out now, 10 down into your cabinet, for this deck and so forth. We're going to be 
um, releasing some of those tools uh, to you guys at some point. If you're interested in that, please let us know. We're really keen to make innovative visualizations of this data to bring behavior change and energy and carbon saving together. Thank you.